What do we have here is an HTML page and we need to change the color of this link, click here to green. So the first thing to do is I need to link this HTML document to a CSS file and I will create a link here. Then I'll add a new file style.css. Okay, let's just add the file because it doesn't exist. Okay, we'll go for new file style.css. Now let's just go for the basic terminology on how to just change this link color to green. So the first thing to do from the CSS file is to select the element. And the element here is a link. So we have this E tag. So this E tag is considered as an element within this HTML page. And to select an element by using CSS, we use the selector name. The selector name in our case is a. Then we open the curly braces and we close the curly braces. And what we will include within this curly braces are the properties or the CSS properties that will be used in order to change the style. The user property to change the color link is color. Then this property needs a value. So in our case, I'll go for green. Okay, save that. And what do we have as a result is we use, this is the selector. So this is the basic terminology on how to write CSS. We have, this is the selector. We select the E element, then so in red. So I just use red for the selector. Then we have a declaration. So all of that is considered as a declaration. This color green is considered as a declaration. And each declaration needs a property and a value. So this is the property and we use this colon and value of the property. So the value of color is green. It can be out of colors. For example, you can go for pink or any other color and you'll learn how to use all of that. But what to take from that is the basic terminology on how to write a CSS. We first select the element, then we put the declaration and the declaration includes the property and the value of this property. We have also here two important symbols. The first one is the assignment symbol, which is used to assign a value to this property. So to assign a value green to the property color, we use this assignment right here. And for the other symbol here is the semicolon. And the semicolon is used to define the end of the declaration. If we want to add another declaration, for example, I will go for a font size and I will give it a 12 pixel as a value. So we add the property. This is the property and this is the value of this property. We use the colon as an assignment symbol to assign 12 pixel to font size. Then we use the semicolon to define that this is the end of the second declaration. So we just separate two declarations by using the semicolon. Let's refresh the page to see the changes. And the curly braces are used to wrap all of the styles that will be used in order to change the style of this element. So the selector here, then we use the curly braces and the curly braces wrap each declaration that will be used in order to change the style of this element. If you wanna go for another element, so for example, let's just go for a heading or go for a hello, for example. And if I wanna change the style of each one heading, so I will go for the selector, then I'll add the curly braces and add a style, for example, color green. We'll go for red, save that, refresh the page, and I have a heading, hello, which is using the color red. So now I have two elements. The first one is this one, A, and this is of the style applied for this E tag. And for the second one, let's just take, use another color. So this tag right here, or this color braces, will wrap the style that will be used for this specific element, each one.